A very good morning to one and all. Myself, Dr. Rishabh Gupta, and in today's session, we will be solving the numericals of CBP analysis using what if function. So here we begin. Following information is available with respect to ABC Limited. Selling price is 850 rupees. Unit sold 500 units. Variable cost per unit is 250. Fixed cost is 10,000. Part 1. You are required to compute an expected change in each of the following cases so as to achieve a break-even value. These are the four possible cases. Case 1. If there is a change in the selling price per unit. Case 2. If there is a change in units sold. Case 3. If there is a change in cost per unit. Case 4. If there is a change in fixed cost. Second part of the numerical. What will be the profit if the units sold are 500, 600, 700 and 800 units? Third part. Also, what will be the profit in the following scenarios? So, in this case, three scenarios have been mentioned. Worst scenario, selling price is 700. Unit sold is 300. Cost per unit is 350. Under better scenario, selling price is 860. Unit sold is 600. And cost per unit is 280. Under best scenario, selling price is 1000. Unit sold is 800. And the cost per unit or I can say the variable cost per unit is 200 rupees. Now let's solve each and every part one by one. Now under initial projection, let's first note it down what all has been given in this numerical. So the selling price is 850 rupees. Unit sold is 500 units. Revenue will be selling price multiplied by unit sold. That is 4,25,000. Variable cost per unit is 250 rupees. The total variable cost will be variable cost per unit. That is 250 rupees. Multiplied by number of units. It comes out to be 1,25,000. Fixed cost is 10,000. And the profit will be equals to revenue minus variable cost minus fixed cost which means equals to b5 representing my revenue b7 representing my variable cost and b8 representing my fixed cost it comes out to be 2 lakh 90 thousand now in this question i am required to compute the expected change in each of the following cases now there are four possible cases case one is change in price case two change in unit sold, case 3, change in variable cost per unit and case 4 is change in fixed cost. What I have done, I simply copy paste the initial projection in all the four cases. Now, in the first case, I need to identify that what will be the resultant change in the selling price or in order to achieve a profit of 0. Now, for this, I need to go to data under data, click on what if analysis, then click on goal seek. The moment you click on goal seek, it is asking for three things, set cell, two value, and by changing cell. The first is set cell. It means the cell in which you want a desired result. So I want a desired result in cell B19. I want a desired result of zero rupees. So under two value, I will mention zero rupees. And in order to achieve this break even value or in order to achieve a profit of zero, I need to change my selling price. So I want this cell B13 to get change. So in this way, by entering all these information, I click on OK. The moment I click on OK, my revised selling price will become 270. Let's highlight it and my profit will get zero. So in this way, I have achieved a break even point at a selling price of rupees 270 per unit. So the case two is change in units sold. 
हाउ मच यूनिट मस्ट बी सोल्ड इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव अ ब्रेक इ वन वैल्यू और इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव अ वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो सो इन दिस केस टू आई वॉन्ट माई यूनिट सोल्ड टू गेट चेंज सो एज टू अचीव अ वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो अगेन गो टू डेटा अंडर डेटा क्लिक ऑन वॉटिफ एनालिसिस देन क्लिक ऑन गोल सीक Now I want this profit figure to get changed, so I will mention E19. I wish to achieve a value of zero, and this can be achieved by changing my unit sold, which is five hundred, or it's also represented by E14. Click OK. The moment you click OK, the unit sold will become sixteen point six 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 seven, and the profit will become zero. So, in order to achieve a break-even value, the company must sold approximately sixteen point six seven unit. Let's focus on case three. Under case three, I need to identify that what will be the resultant change in the variable cost per unit, or so as to achieve a value of zero. Now, in this case, again go to data, what if analysis, goal C. Now under goal C, select B30, write zero value, and this can be achieved by changing my variable cost per unit, which is also represented by B27, and click OK. So in this way, in order to achieve a break-even value, my variable cost per unit must be rupees 830. Now let's focus on case four. Which is a case of change in fixed cost. Again, go to data, what if analysis, goal seek, under goal seek, select E thirty representing my profit column. I need to achieve a value of zero, which can be achieved by changing my fixed cost represented by E twenty nine. Press OK. Again, OK. It comes out to be. Three lakh rupees. Now let's focus on part two of this numerical, which states that what will be the profits if the units sold are five hundred units, six hundred units, seven hundred, and eight hundred units. Let's first note it down. Quantity profit. Now in this case, let me first mention the profit at five hundred units, which is equals to. Two lakh ninety thousand represented by B nine. Now I need to calculate the profit against the various quantity ranges from five hundred units to nine hundred units. Select this entire cell or select both the columns represented by quantity and profit. Again, go to data, what if analysis, then click on data table. The moment you click on data table. it is asking for row input cell or the column input cell since our input of quantity is in the column hence we will enter the quantity only in the column input cell so let's first mention my quantity my quantity in this case is 500 so i have selected b4 and then click okay the moment you click okay it will automatically generate a series of profit against the quantity of 500 600 700 and 800 units so against 500 units the profit is 2 lakh 90000 against 600 the profit is 3 lakh 50000 against 700 units it is 4 lakh 10000 and finally against 800 units it is 4 lakh 70000 now let's focus on part 3 of this numerical That which states that what will be the profit in the following scenarios? So there are three scenarios: worst, better, and best. Selling price under worst scenario is seven hundred. Unit sold is three hundred units. Cost per unit is three fifty. Under better scenario, selling price is eight sixty. Unit sold is six hundred, and cost per unit is two eighty. And finally, under best scenario, it is one thousand rupees. 800 units are my units sold and cost per unit is 
Now let me first copy paste this information again under the initial projection. Control C and Control V. Now before going ahead, let me first change this cell of selling price, unit sold and variable cost per unit. Currently my selling price is being denoted by B43. So instead of denoted by B43, let me first mention selling price. In the same way, let me change the cell name to unit sold. And finally, the variable cost per unit. Now, after changing the cell name, the next step is to create a scenario. For that, go to data, then click on what if analysis, and then click on scenario manager. The moment you click on scenario manager, click on the option add. So I need to create the three scenarios. First and foremost, I need to create a scenario for worst. Under the worst scenario, there are three items that are changing its value. Selling price, comma, unit sold, and finally, the variable cost per unit. Click on OK. So in this case, the question says my selling price is 700, unit sold is 300, and the variable cost per unit is 350. Okay, now I need to create a scenario for better. Again, I will type the scenario name. Then under this better scenario, my selling price is changing, my unit sold is changing, and my variable cost per unit is changing. So click on OK. In this case, my selling price is 860. Unit sold is 600. And the cost per unit is 280. Click on OK. And at last, I need to create a scenario for best. Simply type best under the scenario name. Selling price, comma unit sold comma and the variable cost per unit again click on ok under the best scenario my selling price must be 1000 unit sold must be 800 and the variable cost per unit must be 200 click on ok so in this way i have created all the three scenarios worst better and best then click on summary the moment you click on summary, then you need to click on OK. The moment you click on OK, a new sheet will get open with the title scenario summary. So if your selling price is 700, unit sold is 300 and the variable cost per unit is 350, then the resulting profit comes out to be 95,000. Similarly, under better scenario, if your selling price is 860, Unit sold is 600 and the variable cost per unit is 280. Then the resultant cell that is the profit comes out to be 338,000. And finally, under best scenario where the selling price is 1000, unit sold is 800 and the variable cost per unit is 200, the final figure comes out to be 630,000. So that's all from my side. We'll meet you in my next session. Have a nice day.